Assalamu alaikum. Hope everyone is fine and safe at home. Our today's topic is In this topic we'll discuss the histological fe features of two types of the adipose tissue that is the unilocular and the multilocular adipose tissue, how they are distributed in the body and what are their distinguishing features of and what are their differences of between the unilocular or the multilocular adipose tissue. Now adipose tissue is a one of the form of the special uh, connective tissue. It is composed of the fat cells or the adipocytes. These adipocytes or the fat cells, they are present singly or in groups in uh, as loose cellular tissue also. But when they exceed the uh, number, they form the hypodermis layer of the skin, which is below, below the dermis layer. So in addition to the adipocytes, these uh, adipose tissue, they also contains the uh, uh, tissue uh, stromal fractions of the pre-adipocytes, the fibroblasts, the vascular endothelial cells, and a variety of immune cells such as the adipose tissue macrophages. Adipose tissue is derived from the pre-adipocytes, which are uh, the, the precursors, which are derived from the mesenchymal cells, which is a pluripotent tissue. The main function of the fat cells or the adipocytes is to store the energy in the form of the lipids and uh, it uh, also forms the cushions and insulates the body. Now these adipocytes, they uh, respond both to the nervous and hormonal stimuli. And in recent years, uh, this adipose tissue has gained much attention of the researchers because of the uh, certain hormones which they secrete that such as the leptin, estrogen, resistin, and cytokine. And, uh, and a lot of the research is going on on the adipose tissue regarding the uh, adult onset obesity and the childhood uh, obesity. Now the layers of the fatty tissue, they may be present under the skin, which we call as superficial fascia, or under the serous membranes, especially in the peritoneum, or it uh, is present uh, uh, as a cushion around the certain important organs such as the uh, kidney. Now white adipose tissue. This white adipose tissue uh, is uh, named because the fresh specimen it appears whitish to yellowish in uh, appearance and this uh, white adipose tissue it is also called the unilocular adipose tissue. The unilocular adipose tissue because it is composed of the adipocytes which have a single uh, uh, big droplet of the fat or the lipids and this single droplet of the lipids it uh, pushes the cytoplasm uh, in a rim like fashion and nucleus in an eccentric position with all of the cellular organelles in the uh, along with it. So, uh, because of this uh, appearance, which is called the signet ring appearance, the, these uh, 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 white adipose tissue, it is also called the unilocular adipose tissue. And you can see here the unilocular uh, adipocytes were filled with the uh, droplet of the fat and uh, uh, in between is the little amount of the connective tissue. Now, uh, during the preparation of the slides in a routine H&D stains, this uh, uh, fat droplet is dissolved because of by the xylene during the process of the fixation. And therefore, the uh, adipocytes in a photomicrographs, they appear as empty. So the fat is dissolved. So to stain the fat droplets, the special stains, they are required like the osmium tetrachloride, Sudan 3, and silver staining. These adipocytes, they have a, a special appearance, which is called the signet ring appearance. Uh, the so from the signature word, which is a Latin word, and this uh, uh, signature comes uh, from the signing of the kings, which uh, they uh, used to uh, seal their uh, documents or important things uh, with their uh, ring, which has their impression on it of the king. So the, from there, it is derived as the signet ring appearance. Now, another variety of the tissue is the brown adipose tissue. The brown adipose tissue is also called as the multilocular adipose tissue. 
Uh, now, this type of the adipocytes, they have the multiple small droplets of the lipids uh, dispersed in all of the uh, adipocytes and there is a lot of the mitochondria and the nucleus is central in position. Now, these uh, multiple droplets of the fat, they give an appearance of the soap bubbles or sponge within the cell. This is the photomicrograph of the brown adipose tissue or the multilocular adipose tissue. You can see here the small lipid droplets uh, filling the adipocytes. So therefore, it is called the multilocular adipose tissue. And it is rich in the mitochondria which gives its uh, uh, and uh, rich in blood supply which gives its uh, brown appearance. Now, the main function of this brown adipose tissue is the uh, thermogenesis that is the heat production. Both the white and the brown adipocytes, they are derived from the uh, mesenchymal cells, which uh, uh, first uh, differentiates into the pre-adipocytes. These pre-adipocytes is the active form of the fibroblast. And you can see here with a lot of the uh, cellular organelles and the cytoplasm and these uh, processing uh, uh, tentacles-like features of the uh, active fibroblast. And these pre-adipocytes, they first differentiate into the adipocytes which have the uh, small uh, uh, vesicles of the lipid uh, li filled with the lipid and these small lipid vesicles they coalesce to form a large lipid molecule in a unilocular adipocytes and in the multilocular or the brown adipose tissue these adipocytes they uh, they uh, uh, they remain as uh, the uh, uh, as the, uh, remain as the uh, small uh, droplets of the fats now there is a, uh, in between there is also a, a stage uh, between this unilocular and multilocular uh, adipocytes of the adipocytes which can transform in either of the variety when needed. So this is a multilocular adipo, uh, adipocyte with the central nucleus, the lot of the mitochondria uh, uh, which have the pigment cytochrome and which gives it a brownish appearance. And these are the lipid droplets, multiple lipid droplets. And this is the white adip adipocyte, which have a single uh, lipid uh, the vesicle with a large uh, the lipid droplet and the nucleus and the other organelles has shifted to one side. Now, there are certain differences between the white and the brown adipose uh, tissue. And this is also a very important SCQ question also. The white fat or the unilocular adipose tissue is mainly localized in the subcutaneous, abdominal, inguinal, perineal, retrosplenial, gonadal around the organs and more dispersed in the other places. Whereas the brown fat is interscapular uh, in the babies and axillary, perine perineal and brown fat is mostly present in the babies, cervical, dispersed in arteries and around the organs. So, uh, it appears whitish to yellowish or every color and it appears brown or reddish to pinkish color. So, uh, this um, uh, brown adipose tissue or the multilocular uh, adipose tissue is highly vascularized as compared to the white adipose tissue. So, it, white adipose tissue is innervated by the autonomic nervous system whereas the brown adipose tissue is has a sympathetic innervation. Now, the adipocytes of the white adipose tissue, they are rounded or wide and they have 25 to 200 micron meter diameter. They are unilocular with a single lipid droplet, flattened nucleus and semilunar and eccentric uh, in position, very thin cytoplasm, few mitochondria and average amount of the uh, endoplasmic reticulum and cell uh, organelles. Whereas the brown adipocyte is polygonal in shape, it has a diameter 15 to 60 micron meter. It is multilocular with many lipid droplets, round to ovoid nucleus, abundant cytoplasm, many mitochondria, scarce endoplasmic reticulum. So immune cells, they are abundant in the white fat, whereas they are scarce in the brown fat. 
This is uh, the diagram showing you the distribution of the adipose tissue in the uh, newborns, uh, where it constitutes 2 to 5 percent of the body weight, which is shown by these black areas. Whereas the uh, gray areas show you the mixture of the multilocular and the unilocular adipose uh, tissue. So the white adipose uh, uh, tissue is uh, uh, enough. Uh, white adipose tissue has been formed in the baby, in the newborn babies, and the the white adipo, uh, uh, adipose tissue start forming in 14th uh, week of the gestation. Now this is a diagram showing you the male and the female distribution of the fat. That is the female, the pear, the pear shaped uh, the distribution, and in the males, the, uh, the this is the apple shaped distribution of the fat, which is under the hormonal control of the male and the female sex hormones. Now these are the photomicrographs showing you the white and the brown adipose tissue. Now you can identify in this uh, slide uh, both the types of the uh, multilocular and the unilocular adipocytes. They are both present in this same uh, slide. So these are the multilocular adipocytes and they are the unilocular adipocytes. Uh, this is the uh, slide of the uh, white adipose tissue and uh, in comparison with the brown uh, uh, adipose tissue or the multilocular adipose tissue and so, so you can see the differences and enumerate the differences between these two uh, slides. Now this is the slide of the mammary gland showing you the uh, alveoli and they are also filled with the fat droplets. So these are the all the unilocular adipocytes or the white adipose tissue in the mammary gland. So uh, uh, this is all about the adipose tissue and uh, next uh, we will uh, talk about the cartilage. Thank you.